So the craziest story that person that happened to me was when I was younger. And this is one of the craziest stories because you've got to remember certain people have certain um, ideas of what crazy is. But for me, this was out of the blue. I did not expect this. So it's 2001. And in Camden, it's not community, but everyone knows everyone in Camden. And everyone's tight. We know each other's family. So if anything happens, we kind of know stuff. But what happened was Somalians were coming over at the time. Like a lot of them were coming over and we didn't really know them, but they were coming over to like in, in London in general. So what happened there was I was selling drugs at the time. I had runners and that, but I'm 18 myself. So my runners are young as well, like 15, 16 at the time, some are 14. And then one of them got robbed by this guy and we didn't know who he was, just a black guy. And then a couple others got robbed. And now I'm like, oh my God. So the Somalians were robbing the workers. Okay. So I caught a couple of them. I messed them up. Him up like I, I really really went in on him I smashed him up like I battered him but I let the guy know who I was because I'm Daniel Lazar I'm in Camden this is my area this is what I do yeah so the guy had heard the name but I'd done the job on him you know and then um so one day I'm walking down the street I'm with my girlfriend I'm walking my girlfriend's friend home being a gentleman trying to do the right thing impress my girlfriend anyway so I walk her home all the way up to bell size and then we're walking back me and my girlfriend my girlfriend was a pretty girl mixed race blue eyes so we're walking back it's on Ferdinand Street just by my mum's and um walking and there's three guys coming towards me black Somalian guys and I didn't know anything remember I'm feeling myself back then I've got a massive ego my head's big as it is but trust me it was filled with ego back then and I thought I was just the man you know so three guys come towards me, they're looking at my pretty girlfriend. I'm like, hmm, yeah, I'm not feeling this energy. I'm like, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? You know, that kind of stuff. And they're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Now me, I have a thing of telling people my name. Not no more. <laughs> but back then, it was almost like to scare people off. You know who I am? Daniel Lazar. <laughs> yeah, that you usually get a reaction. But like I told you, these guys had come from Somalia. They were basically fresh almost, you know, and they'd all moved in and they'd had their own community. But well, they don't give a fuck about me. Do you know what I'm saying, Sean? So like, he was your six foot four, and you were hench. And I was big then as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Always in and out of jail, and always had the reputation of fighting because I was bullied so much as a kid, and all that pent up frustration. It just, it, it just released from me. So anyway, I'm going mad at these guys, and then now there's an argument. Now I don't have a knife on me then. I hadn't stabbed anyone by then. I, I hadn't been stabbed by then. It was just fighting. We were just fighting. You know, almost like just finishing school and you start to fight and stuff. And um, so I'm like, my name's Daniel Lazar, blah, blah, blah. Now I've just beaten up a couple of Somalians a couple of weeks, maybe a week before. Yeah. And they're all in a group. So they've known the name now. Now they're all looking at each other. Yeah. And like the energy has got a bit more serious now. And then they're just talking all of a sudden, pull like a big Rambo knife. Honestly, it was the size of his arm. I just see it. And he just went whack, hit me straight there. And everything just stopped. My whole... Time just stopped. It was crazy. Fractured my um, skull, severed two arteries. And I'm standing there now. And uh, my head's wobbling. I was with my friend. My friend actually run off to pretend like he had a... No I don't even know what he did, but he ran off anyway, yeah? <laughs> so now I'm left there. My, head, my head's cracked open. And the smiling guys have run off. And I'm just standing there. The girl's screaming. And um, Claret was pouring out of my head and everything. And um, yeah, I almost died. Um, luckily, I was right by my house. People called an ambulance. And within half an hour of the incident, I was in the hospital. And um, just getting seen to in that. But yeah, that was a very, very traumatic time in my life, you know? <sighs>